have made it to Rome. We are really excited to be here and had well it was a really chilled travel day to be honest so we flew with ryanair from the midlands and um, the flight was meant to be two hours 40 but it ended up being two hours 10. we slept for a lot of it and i watched an episode of desperate housewives which i downloaded from disney plus and then all of a sudden we were in rome and something that was really cool is we managed to see the coliseum from the plane as it was such a blue sky day uh, we've been sport with the weather actually it's been 18 degrees and i think tomorrow is exactly the same when we go to the coliseum so that's really exciting we decided to trial the airlink um bus train transfer from the airport um we flew into i'll pop it on the screen this airport which is the smaller airport of the two um in rome and from there we bought our ticket at the luggage carousel from the machine it worked out as four pound 63 for the two of us for the bus journey from the airport um to the train station and then from the train station into rome so you can't really beat the price on that we timed it it's not our fault over lunch it looks like they have about a 40 minute gap between trains whereas other than that every other train is about 10 15 minutes so we did have to wait about half an hour for a train um but the time soon passed and the train was lovely it was a double decker one and um, so of course we sat upstairs and it went really quickly but right now we're going to do the most important thing which is we're going to go and get gelato so i'll bring you along for that now so for reference, this is how busy it is at like 4 o'clock on a Saturday. Hello, I look a bit tired from today as it's always a long day and travel day and um, today we've booked to go to somewhere because we knew the first day would be tired and wouldn't want to be looking around for somewhere so we've booked to go to the hard rock cafe had to be done didn't it um, if you've watched any of our vlogs before you know we like going to a hard rock we always try and collect a mug when we go there and um, so we're going to be going there tonight um, i imagine it might be one of our pricier meals because it's a chain um, and we'll probably have a couple of cocktails a main and possibly a dessert as we're really hungry as we haven't had lunch today we've had breakfast at the airport at half six a couple of chocolate fingers and gelato so um yeah we're quite hungry but we're gonna head off there now and if i can i'll show you some footage of the stuff you'll definitely be seeing the food though so see you in a bit that's yeah no that's that's what i am the hurricane now i know what i'm having we're in the midst of it here often start vlogs with my hair in my heatless curler um but i've got to put it in last night well didn't forget i was too tired i'd had a shower and then the um hair dried and that thing where you'd put it on hot for too long and then it turned off so i just slept with kind of damp hair so it was a bit of a mess this morning so i've just put this in for an hour just to give it a tiny bit of shape it won't stay in that long because it was only have been in, in for just an hour can't talk this morning we had a lovely meal last night at the hard rock um we both had burgers um i had the normal big cheese burger which i would have and you had the italian burger um which looked really good and we were really hungry so we had a side of mac and cheese we had our normal dessert as well and then we came back uh, it was nice knowing where we were going for dinner and not having to think or where we got to go whereas today we've got the joy of choosing where we can go for lunch dinner um, and everything else today we're off on a coliseum tour i booked this in advance um through is it via tour beta not too sure to be honest no via tour or, yeah 
booked through them anyway. Um, I booked it a while ago. It was non-refundable um, and it's the access to the arena floor. Um, they've been in touch with so far, really good with the communication. We'd booked the 10am tour and they contacted me about five days before to say they had trouble with ticketing. So it's now going to be 9.45, so only 15 minutes earlier. And they've sent me a link on Google Maps where we need to meet um, and they've sent photos of who to look out for and everything. So I thought that was really good because um, I think when you're heading off on a tour and you don't want to be late it's nice to know what you're looking for so um it's about just gone eight it's nearly ten past so we're going to go grab some breakfast which is included with the hotel and then we're going to go and head on our coliseum tour so i'll bring you along with me there's still a lot of people around in rome in february like when we went to the trevi fountain yesterday granted it was saturday afternoon so probably peak time you couldn't even walk let alone get a camera out so um yeah i'll show you what i can and yeah thanks for watching this is our view for breakfast. There's tea and all in there and through um, as well by the buffet. They had bacon, sausage and egg as well. So not bad for a continental. So we've just come back from breakfast. It was, well, on the booking it says it was a continental breakfast. So to me that's cereal, pastries, maybe a bit of cheese and ham. Um, but actually there was some hot food as well. There was egg, bacon, omelettes and sausage. So um, yeah, we filled up so that we'll be full for our tour today. Um, we have to meet at 9.30. It's quarter to nine now and takes 20 minutes to get there, but we're gonna head off just before nine because um, we're gonna grab some um, bottles of water before we go. Um, I was gonna refill my bottle, but I couldn't see anywhere downstairs to do that. So um, yeah, we'll just get a couple on the go. Um, and yeah, really excited to see the Coliseum today. Um, the hotel so far has been really lovely. In fact, as we've come up from breakfast, so we were only down at breakfast for about, what, 15, no, maybe 25 minutes. Um, and they've already come up and done housekeeping. It's just lovely. I mean, don't get me wrong, the rooms aren't massive, but what do you need a massive room for when you're out exploring the city most of the time? So yeah, let's head off and see a bit more of Rome. Oh yeah, nice to meet so this is the meeting point here for any tour with Viator or Viator, I can't remember how you say it, Viator. So we've walked from down that road there and then right there is the Colosseum. So they get you to meet right by it. Just waiting for our time, then we're heading into the... Going in. <laughs> so underneath are the ticket numbers for the numbers and then they know where to sit. Going to the arena floor. It's a reconstruction to show you what it would be like. These are what the seats look like. Richest people on these. Alright, up the stairs we go. So as part of our Coliseum Arena tour, um, which we did pay a little bit more for to go on the arena floor. Um, you can see such a different perspective of the Colosseum. It was really great to see. We then headed up so you can see more of the Colosseum um, and the guide explained different facts as we went through. As you can imagine, there are some steep steps and a lot of people. So just bear that in mind um, before you go to the Colosseum. Make sure you've got those comfy shoes on um, and make sure you've got your camera ready as there's so many things to see in there and take in. I can imagine in the summer, it's very hot there. When we went, it was about 18, 19 degrees. So it was kind of perfect weather, blue skies when we got to visit. Um, but I was definitely warm enough. So I can imagine in the summer, make sure you've got your water, fans, everything like that. As I can imagine, it gets quite hot. Thank 
and I've now finished our tour. This has over 16,000 reviews, so hopefully it should be good. So you went for what's in yours? Mussels? Pasta. Pasta mussels, yeah. It's quite big. Pop your hand. Yeah, I was going to say, pop your hand. And I went for the Italy pizza. Yeah. Got limoncello. We both got a tiramisu. I thought that was like, I didn't think we'd get two. Yeah, we had to do a tiramisu. -y. This is the best tiramisu I've ever had. It's so creamy. Oh my gosh, you can see I've already destroyed that one. So this is where we came for lunch. Oh my gosh, look at the queue now. It literally all the way down the side street. I have not shut up about how good that tiramisu was. How good was it? Oh, it's not. It was so good. Oh my gosh, I'm so full now. We're gonna go sit and look at the Colosseum for a little bit as we didn't get much time to look at it on the outside. So I'm gonna do that now. Goodness, for a bit of weather day. Blue sky. This is above the metro station bit of the Colosseum. Nice to see it a little bit back. So we've had a little bit of a chill in the room, a bit of a freshen up, and we're gonna head out for dinner now. Are we going to the Spanish Steps? Yes. So we're gonna go to the Spanish Steps and then go to dinner and then we might pop to the Trevi Fountain because where we've seen for dinner, um, the Trevi Fountain's only about a five minute walk away. So we'll see how busy it is then on a Sunday evening. It's about six o'clock now, so we're gonna go head out. I feel like I look a bit tired. Um, I think I need to start wearing eyeliner as well to make my eyes look a bit more awake because I look tired <laughs> right now. Um, but yeah, we're gonna go head out. It's been a lovely sunny day, but I think coats will be needed this evening. So let's go. So we're at the Spanish Steps. Just walked up some of them, haven't we? There's quite a buzz around here. It's What's the time? Uh, quarter to seven on a Sunday night. <laughs> Another one. Spanish step. <coughs> so I've gone for lasagna and you've gone for carbonara. Yes. And for tiramisu again, second one of the day. So we're at the Trevi Fountain at night time. Still quite busy, as you can see. But we can actually get to the, but we couldn't even get this close, could we, at all? It was so packed. Good morning, so it's a new day in Rome. It looks to be not cooler, it's still about 17 degrees, but a bit more, um, overcast today um, but we've got another tour booked we're off to i've completely gone blank where are we going we're going yeah we're going to i didn't sleep that well last night we're going to the vatican city and um, we've got lots of different highlights on this tour i think it's about four hours long um so i'll bring you along and show you all the main highlights where i can um, and then we'll go for some lunch after um i don't know if we'll have dessert again today but that tiramisu at lunchtime yesterday was so good i haven't shut up about it um yeah we're gonna head off now we're gonna get an uber to um vatican city just because it's about an hour walk so we're gonna go do that now and then pick up a couple of snacks because yesterday on the tour there wasn't a chance to get a snack and when you've had your breakfast at about eight and then you're on a tour then until I think it was about half one we were a bit hungry so um yeah we're gonna go do that now and I'll bring you along. Now we're just waiting at our tour these are who we've used. I've got actually a screen up. So you can see how busy it is already at half nine on a Monday. In advance of the trip, we booked a few tours because we wanted to make sure that we'd be able to get into all of the areas and the sites we'd want to see um, and not have to queue up in those long lines that you hear about and which we saw whilst we were uh, in Rome. So we're going to see this, but you can't take any pictures in the Sistine Chapel. So this tour which we booked um, was about a three, four hour tour and it was a tour of the Vatican Museums, the Sistine Chapel and St Peter's. And there was so much detail um, on the tour. Having a guide was so useful. They spoke and discussed everything as we went through. Stuff that you might walk past or not know what it means. The guide explained to us clearly. I'd highly recommend booking a tour in advance if you're interested in seeing these areas. 
the lines looked so long and bear in mind we were in the quiet season so we didn't actually wait in any line um, by booking the skip the line tour which we did in advance. These were 1500s, these 1600s. This is his view. We've just finished our tour. We didn't have to queue anywhere. So, so you can see, this is the queue to get in. I don't think this is to the museum. This is to get in here. So the queue starts there and goes all the way around. Keep going around, keep going around, all the way there. And apparently this is a quiet day. So that's for people who haven't booked tickets. So I'd highly recommend if you want a tour or a ticket, book it in advance because we just skipped the line we didn't wait in any queue all day um, and we got all the knowledge of the guide as well so I'd highly recommend doing that yeah, fantastic day just imagine all the people that stand here when he's up there wow there's a lot of people I have the buffalo we're just waiting for yours Ooh. so I've gone large and your ravioli I have mine look massive from bed Look at the size of these profiteroles rolls and your cheesecake. It's a full cheesecake, but it's broken and all that. Oh my goodness, look at these. Just finished our lunch and it's so full. I would not normally have dessert with lunch, but we were starving. The profiteroles rolls are so, so good. Lighting in here is a bit bright, but we've had a bit of a rest um, since doing our tour this morning. Um, our feet were quite tired. <laughs> Um, so we came back to the hotel, had a rest, did a bit of packing, sorted through that and now we're heading out for our final evening dinner um, in Rome and then tomorrow we've got the food tour booked so I'll take you along for that as well um, but I'm sure the next clip you will see will be us eating our dinner tonight so yeah I'll catch up with you probably after that and then tomorrow. The pasta with the mussels in. Mm. You've gone for the seafood dishes, haven't you? Mm. I've gone for a carbonara. Mm. Yeah. Mm. This is one scoop. Massive. It's so good. Thank you, guys. Oh, there you go. So you've got Snickers and. Good morning, so it's our last day here in Rome, we fly out tonight, quite late, we don't fly until, we don't fly until about 10 o'clock, so we don't get back until about half 11 at night, so it is a late flight, not really my preference, but I also didn't want to get a 7 or 8am flight today as well, so at least we have the day in Rome. Um, we're going on another tour today, we've booked a food tour, which has been highly recommended, we've got family members who have been on food tours and have said they're so much fun, so we're going to go on one of those today. I think it's showing some of the sites as well, so we're going to the Pantheon, which we haven't been to yet, um, and I think it's about a three hour tour, so um, we've had a light breakfast this morning and we went down a bit later which is nice and it's about 20 to 10 now and the tour and um, we've got to meet them at quarter to 11 so we've got a little bit of time but we have got to check out I was packing this morning when you've only got hand luggage for some reason it was harder we've not bought anything bar a mug which is in my handbag um, to take back but yeah always struggle with just hand luggage taking stuff um, but yeah don't really have a lot else to say it's basically been a food tour anyway while we've been in Rome um, we've eaten a lot, but we've also walked a lot and seen a lot of sights. A lot of the days we've done 20,000 steps, but that's how you see the most, I would say, of a city when you go uh, and just walk everywhere. So yeah, anyway, that's enough from me. Um, but let's take you on this food tour. No idea what it'll be like. What I will say is the nice thing about doing tours is you get to know other people. So yesterday um, on our Vatican tour, um, I was speaking to a lady from New York, which was really 
nice we were sharing travel stories and it's just nice chatting to everyone so um yeah we'll see what we get up to on our food tour later today so we booked our food tour online via Veta, via tour, um, and we met our guide and the other eight people on the tour. They took us to a local market, which is there every day of the week, apart from Christmas, I think they said from memory. And we tried a variety of lemoncellos, um, pestos, truffle, cheese, and you'll see as we go through the different snippets of things we had. Instagram first. Your parmigiano, guys. Parmigiano mm. is a cow milk. Um, this is pecorino, uh, the one we use usually for the cashew paper pasta. That is a sheep milk. Mm -hmm. So, guys, go ahead. Thank you. So, pesto. Pesto. Mm -hmm. and fried so pesto sauce, you. truffles, and dried tomatoes. Mm. Thank you. It's really good. Yeah. Truffle cheese. <laughs> Mm. Mm, like mm, mine. Mm. After the market where you could buy some of the food um, if you were interested, our guide then took us to somewhere around the corner where we each had a platter of meats and cheeses and we also had some wine as well as you'll see in the next clip. Mm. The platter that we had was really nice. There was about eight different samplings on there per person and you got to have your own plate, which was great. After this stop, we then went on for pizza. So we got two slices of pizza each and the place um, where the pizza was served, they actually priced it based on weight. Um, but obviously we weren't paying as we'd already paid for the food tour um, and that included the cost of all the food that we would eat. And we also had beer, which you'll see me now try, which I was not a fan of because I don't like beer. I'm sure the beer was lovely. I'm just not a beer fan. Anyway, we then followed on the tour for some lunch. So our guide told us we were going to go to a, a restaurant um, where we would try four different samples of pasta. I've got a couple of pictures, but as we were dining with the other people on the tour, I didn't want to shove a camera, you know, on all the food and in people's faces. But where we dined was actually um, on the ruins of an old um, theatre, so the Theatre of Pompeii. Um, so that was really cool. It was really fun there. And yeah, uh, the food was fantastic our tour then carried on to a cafe where we were given the option to have an espresso if we wanted one i'm not a coffee drinker but when in rome you know i thought i would give it a try <laughs> oldest university in Italy. they don't do classes here anymore <laughs> well, we've had our tiramisu I think we're going to head to gelato soon. Final stop for gelato. Showing us in this church where there's an illusion. This is flat. So guys, this is the only temple in the world that still looks like it was when it was built. After the fantastic food tour, we just wandered around the streets of Rome for the rest of the time we were there. Our flight wasn't until late at night, so we did stop for a lovely hot chocolate, which was really nice. And then we just had a wonder and caught our flight home. So thank you for following along and watching our Rome adventure. Mm -hmm.